Briars here and today I'm filming finally my Briarfest full haul video. So the last of my Briarfest stuff to arrive today which is amazing because it's also my birthday so that is brilliant added to my day. And I thought I'd do a full haul video so I would film all of the horses I've got through Briarfest so this does have a few extras from the unboxing video. I'm also pleased because I got my Briarfest shirt so I'm in my Be More Danny shirt um it's a really nice shirt actually if it's really nice which i was a little bit worried about the fit because i don't know your sizes too well but this seems to be perfect so i thought i'd pop it on for this video so without any further ado let's have a little look at the models starting off we've got danny the celebration model for this year so i'm wearing her t-shirt because danny was my favorite horse for the whole of briar fest um, i absolutely loved her segments and she's such a beautiful horse so really glad she is the celebration model. I think this is definitely the best celebration model Briar has done. She's just stunning. Mine I think is more of a dark Danny than some of the ones I've seen. And I'm completely okay with that. I really love this mould as well. So really glad to have gotten her. You'll notice she's wearing a little colourful head collar I made for her. Um, if you want to learn to make head collars I did do a tutorial using this head collar. But um, I'm planning to make all of my Briarfest traditionals their own horse of a different colour head collar. So you will see a few more of these popping up if you follow me on Instagram. Next up, we have Reverence. So he's on the Ashqua mould, which is the first model I own on this mould. He is stunning. I really love his pattern. And I think Briar did a really good job with all the shading on him. My favourite view of him is from the front, he's just got really adorable posture and I'm really really pleased I got hold of him. Mowgli has come to say hello and probably sit on all my horses. Then we have got this guy who's really really exciting. This is my glossy surprise horse. So I've named him Endeavour. Um, it was actually a suggestion from my boyfriend so I really like that name and just stuck with it. And he's the Glossy Champagne um, Splash. And there's 325 of him made. So he's actually the rarest model in my collection at the moment. Absolutely love him. He is stunning. I've taken quite a few photos of him already. And I'm absolutely in love. Can't believe my luck this year getting a Glossy Surprise Horse. And this is the first year I've had a Surprise Horse actually. As part of my runs. So really really um quite in shock that i actually managed to get a glossy moving up we've got my horse of a different color magnet i've actually got three of these because i had three separate boxes and they did put a magnet in each of the boxes which is nice um as i say last year i didn't get any magnets so i have that one of them on my fridge at the moment and the other two i am going to see if anyone needs one or and maybe give them away then we have kaleidoscope so he's one of the ones that arrived this morning, so I've only just opened him up. And I've got to say, I think mine is a really nice variation. He has quite a lot of red on him. And I've seen some that are just very, very blue and not quite as defined. But mine has really gorgeous, this splattering all over him. He's really colourful. Absolutely adore the Darwin mould. So when I saw this guy, I had to get him. Um, I've gone from being not really a deco person to having quite a few decos this year, mainly stable mates. But he is adorable. So really glad I got a kaleidoscope. I'm glad they made lots of him because I know everyone really liked him. Moving forwards, got quite a few um, of the new Stingle stable mates. So I got these as they're not really out in the UK um, at the minute. And I haven't had many of the stable mates on these moulds at all. I've not had any on the Mustang mould. Very, very cute. Um, I have actually got two of him. You'll see there's duplicates of him and the Appaloosa Sports Horse because he reminds me of a pony I ride um, called Blue. And so I really want to get one customised to look like Blue. We've got the Morgan, Andalusian and the Appaloosa Sports Horse. The Appaloosa Sports Horse I've not had um, any on this mould either. It's the Corbin mould that was released through the Stable Mates Club. And so I'm really looking forward to getting these out of the boxes in a little bit and having a little look. And I'm going to keep the nicer of the two for the Mustang and the Appaloosa OF. And then the other ones I'm going to customise. Moving on. Next up we have my lovely Buckskin Peshmal. He looks kind of bay in this light, but he is the Buckskin variation. Um, 
again he's wearing a little horse of a different colour head collar I made for him. I really love the pattern on him. Um, as I say, he wasn't my original, you know, first choice for special run at all. He was number seven, but he's really grown on me. I love his pattern. He's got super cute detailed eyes, which my camera doesn't really want to pick up. Oh, there we go. And mine doesn't really have any obviously glaring flaws. They've done a really good job with his markings. So I am happy to have him in my collection. I do really like him and he's grown on me so much. I think his face is the sweetest for a vintage mould. Next up, we've got all of our single day stable mates. So I did show you these in my unboxing video. We have Nouveau, Avant Garde, who is the cutest mould ever. This is like this and Darwin are my favourite stable mate moulds at the minute. We have Dada. Um, who is my favourite of the colour schemes on these four. I really, really like the blue. And then we have Rococo, who is the rose gold smart chicolina. So they're very pretty. Oops, I'm just whacking each of them in the head. That's not great, is it? <laughs> Moving forward. Have Josie. Ignore my cat in the background. He's just having a, a groom. So Josie I got because I do really like the Bristol mould, I love doing jumping photos and she has such an awesome colour. Um, I do really like that she's got the two sides so she can have a really colourful side if you want to do something a bit different photos or if you just want a standard bay jumping horse you can turn her over and she's just a standing bay jumping warm blood. Mine is really really sweet, I do love her face marking as well, she's got like a little, little star. So she's really been fun to take some jumping photos with and I've done a few of those if you have a look on my Instagram. I am hoping to do some more and take her outside maybe to do some cross country photo shoots, that would be really cool. She has got a few flaws unfortunately but that's okay as I'm mainly planning to use her for photography. Coming up here, got my sing um, breast of Briar Festival mate. So I really regret not getting the set last year so I got the set this year. We've got um, Grim, I think she was called. Let me see if I can focus my camera a bit better. Yeah, so we've got Grim, who is on the little Pasifino mould. Um, has grown on me a little bit since the unboxing video where I said I wasn't 100% sure about her. I do, I do quite like her colour. It's just the spouts are a little bit weird for me. This little Highland Pony is adorable. Um, so this one is called Fumbelina. Mine has a really, really pink nose. <laughs> it looks kind of like Rudolph, but from the side you can't really tell too much that it's a little bit over pinked there. But she's adorable. She's got some really sweet dapples on her. And I do really like the little Highland Pony mold anyway. So that's really cute. Then we have the grey warm blood. I think this one's called Happily Ever After. Um, this is probably my least favourite in the set. It's not really anything to do with the model. I think it's just... He's much more plain than, or she, I think it's a mare actually, this one, but she's much more plain than some of the others. Um, she's okay, but I'm not overly, like, I, I wouldn't say she's my favourite. And then the Bay Roan Darwin, who is my favourite from the set. As I say, Darwins are my stable mate weakness, and he's a really nice Bay Roan colour. Sorry, my lighting's pretty rubbish today. It's a really horrible, grainy, grey and rainy day here in the UK. And then finally for the Best of Bar FS set, we have Pendragon, who is also really, really nice. The mapping on this for the paint horse markings are super for a little stalemate. I do really like the stock horse mare mould as well. Um, she's got this really cute expression to her. The markings are lovely on this mould. I would say her and Darwin and Fumbelina are my favourites from the set. Right, we're going to go on to Clarion purchases now. So these are the purchases I got during July. Um, so we're starting off, oh, my camera's gone a bit wobbly. Starting off with my Clarion purchases, we have Nakota. So this model I've actually wanted for a really long time, um, ever since he came out, to be honest. I was back in the hobby quite a lot during 2007, which was the year he was released. And for some reason I never got him. Um, I'm not really sure why I never ended up getting him in 2007 when he was released. Maybe I think 
because I didn't really have a lot of money. I was a, a teen then, um, so I didn't really earn any money. I just never, never got him for birthdays or Christmas or anything. But he is gorgeous, so I'm so pleased I managed to find one. And so the story of how this guy came about was essentially I was doing one of the Briarfest countdowns. So I was counting down to Briarfest, doing the little Instagram stories. And one of them was about um, mini grails. And I put Nakota on my mini grail list. And the lovely Wonderland model horses on Instagram contacted me and said she actually had one for sale pretty much new in box, really good condition. And so I had to say yes. Um, I wasn't intending on spending anything on models because there's the build up to Briarfest, but I ended up doing it anyway. And I'm so, so glad. Um, he is in such lovely condition for this model. I've seen quite a few for sale, but they've always been really, really scratched up. And I've always wanted one that was really nice. I absolutely love this blue roan color. I wish Bri did a few more blue roans because I do really like this horse coat colour and I absolutely adore him. I can't wait to take him out. I really want to do a, fire sh a photo shoot with him and Fireheart. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Oops. And he's also the first I have on this model, uh, on this mould, sorry. Um, so I'm really, really impressed with the mould. I do love how dynamic it is. I love that mane and tail. I'm just so happy I managed to get this guy. So a massive thank you uh, to Wonderland Model Horses for letting me know about him and selling him to me and he was packaged beautifully, came beautifully and just so glad to have him in my herd. Gonna come round the bed now to my final Briarfest purchase. So we have the lovely Emerson here. So Emerson I saw for sale on eBay. Um, he was for sale for what I think is a really good price for this model. I would say he was at least sort of 50 to 60 pounds cheaper than the average selling price for him that I'd seen. And I don't see him coming up for sale too often here in the UK. This was after Briarfest, so Briarfest had just finished. Um, the shipping was taking a while with stuff and I caved and decided I wanted to buy another horse. So when I saw Emerson for that price, he was one I had been kind of in the background hoping to get one day. I couldn't resist, so I went ahead and purchased him. He came with his um, BMX qualifying card, which if you're not in the UK, is essentially like a NAN card for live showing. So he has been and had a live showing career, which is nice. He's in super condition. Um, he's got lovely dapples and shading. I absolutely adore his pattern. Um, I love these kind of Sabino markings on him. And he's just such a sweet model. I really like the Emerson mould. I think it's just such a nice um, depiction of a thoroughbred. And his eyes are super detailed as well. He's just a gorgeous model. He came with his um, COA and his little bag as well. So really happy I could pick him up. Um, he was my final kind of purchase of Briarfest. And he's the most recent traditional that I've actually bought. So yeah, this is my haul from Briarfest. So I'm really, really pleased with everything I've got. Um, so, so lucky. I managed to get everything that I wanted from Briarfest this year, pretty much. Um, you know, I think it's always amazing when you put them on the bed like this to see just how many models you've collected in a short space of time. But it wouldn't be Briarfest without, well, accumulating a lot more models. So now I'm going to have the challenging um, challenge of finding some shelf space, which my room currently has run out of shelf space. So God knows where all of these are going to go. But um, I will find somewhere for them because they're all beautiful and they all deserve a home with me. All right, so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at my haul. Um, I hope you had a brilliant Briarfest and I'd love to see all of your haul videos as well. So if that, you have done a haul video, let me know in the comments and I'll go check it out. Um, let me know who is your favourite model from Briarfest this year. And I hope you have a brilliant day wherever you are. Take care now and bye-bye. <laughs>